dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's cleaning routine video of a stay-at-home mom. But before we get started, I wanted to share with you guys how I'm able to get cleaning done um, while having a seven-month-old baby. This company called Love Every sent me this little play gem. It's a company based in Idaho and it is literally so cute. I'm obsessed with it and my baby is obsessed with it. They have these really cute play gems that are very educational and perfect for babies and keeps my baby entertained literally for like almost an hour during the day. So as a mom, I can get stuff done. I can get my cleaning done or I can get ready. They have little subscription boxes boxes that are matched like to your baby's age and they come with these little booklets and are just really great if you want to kind of learn more on your baby's stage and where they're at and what they need to work on and I just love it the boxes just come with you know just different little uh, Montessori toys that are very educational for your baby and are going to keep your baby entertained as well as learning for their specific age group and this little play gem is just so cute I love the little mirror on it and my baby just literally plays and hangs out with it all the time during the day and I'm able to get so much done as a mom it's just like literally a lifesaver so I'm definitely obsessed with it these little boxes are perfect if you just want to have something that comes every single month and you kind of choose based on your baby's age and actually my toddler has been loving these as well they have just very educational toys in there and it's just perfect for different age groups um, for especially your first year of your baby's life so I definitely recommend checking them out I will link the website down below for you guys if you're interested i definitely recommend them and they're just such a cute company and yeah they're the best okay well let's get started with today's cleaning motivation while my baby plays in his little play gem i hope you guys are having an amazing friday and are ready to get some cleaning done with me and let's get started Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving So in the kitchen, I just do some basic cleaning up and just picking up the counter, putting dishes in the dishwasher and stuff like that. If you guys are new to my channel, we just recently moved to Minnesota and we're actually staying with my parents for um, a little bit to save up some money for a house. So we are really lucky to have our own space downstairs. It worked out really great and um, we have our own little kitchen downstairs and our own space bedroom everything like that so we are pretty blessed to have that space and to have our family help us out while we save money because right now as you guys know probably the market is crazy and the houses are so expensive so 
we got this amazing opportunity to be able to stay with my family and spend time with them while we save money so if you guys are wondering why our kitchen is like more of like a bar kitchen that is why and if you're new to my channel welcome and um yeah so i'm just cleaning up here i uh, put literally everything in the dishwasher because it saves me a lot of time and it's just so much easier and faster i love sanitizing the dishes especially in the winter time when the kids get sick and there's just so many germs i literally use the dishwasher every single day sometimes twice a day and then here i'm just wiping down the counters i want to just show you guys this um counter spray for granite it smells so good you guys it literally works so well it doesn't leave any streaks or anything like that in your counters and it just smells amazing it's just the seventh generation granite cleaner and it's like the lemon smell and it's amazing i definitely recommend it if you guys have granite and um it just leaves your counters really shiny and really pretty and clean so yeah that's basically what i did in the kitchen just cleaned up and cleaned the counters and it looks nice and fresh and then just vacuum and the kitchen's pretty much done it's silent now we don't say a word we're just looking at each other tears in our eyes from the words we said yeah, it kind of broke my heart Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't want to change who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts loving me is not so goddamn easy as i think you try your best to hold up but i see you giving in the living room as you guys can tell i just do some basic cleanup i fix the couch um blankets and just vacuum the cushions i absolutely love our couch it's from wayfair and it's so comfortable but um having kids it's literally probably not the best couch because it is um like ivory color and i absolutely love it i've always wanted this color couch but it, I'm like literally always trying to make sure nothing gets spilled on it and um, having a toddler, it's really hard to keep him off of it. But I try to keep all, like all the food off of it. And so I put like little blankets on the um, cushions and make sure that they're just on there all the time and um, try to keep my toddler away from having food on the couch. If you guys are wondering how i keep it clean that is how also the cushion covers come off so that's really helpful because you can wash them and it's really really nice um if you guys are interested in getting a couch like this it is amazing it's literally like so fluffy and so comfortable so i'll link it down below for you guys where i got it it's from wayfair but um yeah so comfortable and then here i just put some essential oils on you guys probably know that i always have these on from previous videos i just love essential oils and i just got this new diffuser from target and it's so cute and the best i always have like lavender or eucalyptus or peppermint in there and it just makes the house smell amazing and very refreshing and yeah now just vacuuming the whole space and it's basically <laughs> My whole stay-at-home mom routine is always vacuuming, always cleaning up toys, and picking up after my toddler, especially. I can try if you let me With our lives I am pleading Who am I without stories that aren't mine What I did to 
achieve you gave me air thought i had to i'm untrue it's not pretty the truth hurts and you So in the dining room and my little workspace for my Etsy shop, I'm just cleaning stuff up and like wiping stuff down just to like sanitize everything. There's not a whole lot that I do in the dining room because we don't really use the space too much. We usually use like the kitchen and the living room area a lot more. So I'm just cleaning stuff up and wiping like my machine down and putting some stuff away. So just basic organizing, not a lot. I do this all the time because things just get messy during the day. But um, my toddler's toys always, I literally do this so many times a day because after he naps or when he wakes up in the morning, all this stuff is just becomes all over the house and all over the floor. So usually all his toys are just everywhere and I'm just constantly cleaning them up all day throughout the day. But um, it's nice having a little play table because I just set everything on there and it's just kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So I just kind of put everything on here and wipe everything down because it's like, you know, high touch areas and I just like having everything sanitized. I just use like a washcloth with Lysol and hot water and it's just nice to use that to clean everything up and then in the bathroom i just put like products away and just put everything kind of out of the way things that i use and don't put away in like the morning or when i'm getting ready or my husband when he's getting ready for work or something like he'll take stuff out and i'm just putting everything away and wiping stuff down nothing major no deep cleaning or anything like that just like you know just wiping down while i have the time while my little baby is playing and my toddler is sleeping so yeah and just like wiping off the toilet seat with lysol wipes and just sanitizing things and stuff like that so yeah that's just basic cleaning of a stay-at-home mom and you see little Easton he's still entertained by the little gem and still loves playing so I love it it's so cute and I'm able to get a ton done I'm somewhere in the middle try to find myself again but life is one big riddle of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm on, I got it in our bedroom i'm just cleaning up and uh, putting clothes away that our toddler put all over the floor um and just making the bed if you guys are new to my channel you probably don't know this but we just got this bed um we used to have a bed from Wayfair and this one is actually from Ikea. We got it when we moved and it's by far my favorite bed ever. It is so comfortable and I just love the bed frame. It's beautiful and um, I just absolutely love it. And then we got the new nightstands from Ikea and then the lamps we got from marshall's i think yeah marshall's and um i just love how it looks and how it turned out just obsessed with it but i wanted to put something above the bed and i have no idea what yet because i just feel like the space is so empty so if you guys have, have any recommendations on what to put above the bed um please let me know maybe some kind of a picture or I don't know maybe like a family photo i'm not sure yet or like a mirror i don't know if you guys have any recommendations recommendations let me know because i feel like it's still kind of empty in our room um we definitely need something like on the sides of the bed stands or nightstands or above the bed so 
definitely looking for some recommendations if you have any i'm just wiping down and getting all the dust off the window and the picture frames and then moving on to the baby's room i love this room it just turned out so cute and i'm um, just vacuuming not a whole lot of organizing or anything like that this room stays pretty clean because he's not in here all the time he's basically just naps in here so um just wipe stuff down and um basically vacuum in this room because we don't really use it that much during the day unless he's just napping and then um just vacuuming our bedroom and it just feels good to be getting stuff done and getting organized The last thing I'm doing here is just getting an attachment for my vacuum and cleaning and vacuuming the stairs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cleaning motivation of a stay-at-home mom. I hope you got a lot of cleaning motivation and got clean and organized with me in your own space in your own house and um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and cleaning on this sunday and also don't forget to check out love every if you guys have little ones and are interested in uh, getting like the little play gym because i definitely recommend it and my little baby loves it if you're a stay-at-home mom it will save you a ton of time and even if you're not a stay-at-home mom it's gonna be a lifesaver for you and for your little one definitely recommend it i'll leave the link down below thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time Bye, guys.